my name is Joe Barrett. Uh, I'm the Daily Operations Manager here at the Roby House in Hyde Park in Chicago, uh, one of Frank Lloyd Wright's most important prairie style homes. So Wright was an architect, uh, probably the most prominent American architect in our history, uh, who began his work in the late 19th century based out of Chicago. Frederick C. Roby was a businessman who worked for his father at a company called Excelsior. From there, he earned his wealth, and it was at one point they decided to expand their home situation. So, Mr. Roby had some ideas about how he wanted his home to be. Uh, he wanted what we would call today an open floor plan. He wanted uh, extensive views of the surrounding environment. But he also wanted a sense of privacy and security, which in an urban environment is a little hard to achieve. Uh, he was put in touch with Frank Lloyd Wright by uh, friends and associates who felt that his design plan or idea would be most realized by Wright's architecture. Wright uh, was most known today, or is known today, as kind of a progenitor of modernism, uh, but also uh, a man who created an American architectural form, uh, which a lot of people tend to lean towards prairie styles being that form. Basically what he's talking about with this prairie style is a uh, sense of organic architecture, which in summation is basically tying the building to the environment in which it's built. And being in the prairie of the Midwest, uh, it lends itself to long flat horizontal planes, uh, pared down ornamentation, uh, simplicity and unity in design. The home sees about 40,000 unique visitors a year. Um, the economic impact and uh, I guess you could say visual acuity of the space uh, lends itself to Hyde Park as a whole, which considers itself uh, international kind of bastion of intellectualism, but then also a community that's close-knit uh, and proud of all the things that it has to offer. 